Little Victory's back, and I'm here with a video I like to make the most, which are the PSA sub reveals. I finally got an order back. It is a 47 card order. Uh, it was the $15 per card bulk special. Um, I already missed that pricing. Uh, I think they jumped up to about $19 a card, and I'm not happy about it. I, you know, mentally, once I get used to that $15 price point, it's hard for me to go back up. Um, so I probably won't grade a ton of cards right now. I'll just wait until it gets back down to 15 or so. So hopefully that'll happen soon. But let's waste no more time. I It took about, I would say, about a month, just over a month, about four or five weeks on this order. So pretty standard, pretty happy with that. All right, well, let's do this. I'll just get out some chunks here. And there we go. All right, first card is a 2020 Panini Phoenix Josh Allen Flamethrowers. I just like the look of this card. Um, you know, I think it's it's not his rookie card, obviously, but it's just a good looking insert. Nice shine to it. Nice colors. You got a 10. Pretty good was a 10. Here's the Tony Gonzalez rookie, kind of his flagship tops from 1997. Uh, pretty good was a 10. It was nice. Uh, it might be a little thinner on the right. Maybe that's what got it. Uh, but I was hoping for a 10 on this one. It was sharp. But he got a nine. Put that in the nine stack. The Allen House, the 10 stack. This is a 2021 Donner's Optic Travis Kelsey. Silver Circles, I believe. This is numbered out of 125. Pretty good was a 10. It looked pretty good. Um, it didn't even have much refractor lines or anything wrong. I think these lines here are just the, the yardage on the field. Uh, not sure what they saw. Again, maybe slightly thinner on the right, but I think these are all within, within that 40%. But I got a nine. Here's a Jacoby Myers. He's the, probably the best wide out for the Patriots right now. It's a 2019 score autograph rookie. Pretty good was a 10. Not, not much to these cards. White edges, corners, everything. So it, it looked nice. Gem 10. Uh, here's the second year tray. This is the pink eyes from Prism. Um, yeah, I probably shouldn't have sent this. Uh, definitely not. But I was assuming it would get a 10. It's a little thinner on the right but than the left, but I measured it, and it was within the 40%. So I'm not sure what else they saw. Um, yeah, I, you know, sometimes you'll see me grade cards, and you'll be like, wow, why is he grading this card? And this is probably one of them you're thinking. But sometimes I'll just grade them because I like them. I like the look of them. You know, I like I like Trey. I like collecting some Trey stuff. Uh, but, yeah, not good. That's a disappointment. That's probably $10. <laughs> so, definitely lost money there. But that's okay. Here's the Jalen Brunson Optic. I love the way optics look. Maybe even more so than prisms. I just, I love the shine to them. And uh, the design. This one got a gem 10. He's playing pretty well for the Knicks. Here's a John Morant, one of the best dunkers in the league, for sure. 2020 from Recon. That's uh, a little thicker card, so I knew it would be tough. Um, but I thought maybe it would get a 10. Pretty good was a 10. Even the back looked pretty good for dark. But you know PSA, they don't like those thick cards. <clears throat> Here's a 2020 Panini Prism Jonathan Taylor. Probably thinking, why is this guy still grading Jonathan Taylor? Because I had a lot of them, and I haven't completely given up on them yet. I'm hoping it's just a one-off year. And uh, I have a lot of nice-looking cards of his. This is the Disco Prism. God Gem 10. Here's a Vooch. If you saw my uh, top 25 worst percentage drops for basketball cards, this Vooch was in there. Uh, luckily, I bought this one later for cheap, and it looked nice. I thought it had a chance at a 10. 
but it did have one little surface mark right there. You see it? So even one little tiny imperfection, even if it's a factory imperfection, can cause the grader to give it a nine. There's no question. If they think it, you know, takes away from the overall high appeal of the card, they'll knock it to a nine. Other than that, the card was just flawless. So, yeah, I, I get it. I can see the nine here. But it depended on the grader. Another grader might have gave that one a 10. Uh, this is a 2020 Cole Komet. He had a pretty decent year for the Bears. Um, you know, for a stretch there, like a three or four game stretch, he was getting one or two touchdowns a game. This is a green Pulsar autograph version. Pretty good was a 10. It looked great, and they got a 10. Not numbered. Here's a 2015 Topps Chrome Stefan Diggs. Gem 10, this is the green refractor version. I've had great, if you see my past reveals, you can see I've had some great luck with 2015 Topps Chrome refractors. I, man, my gem rate on those, it's probably up there. It's probably like 90% on these 2015 cards. It's nuts. Um, here's the Stefan Diggs, same orange refractor. You got a 10 too. And you'd be surprised, these sell pretty well. I've been selling a lot of 10s, uh, probably for around 120, 150. You know, and I was probably back, buying them back in the day on Com C for two or three bucks each, so I'm happy with that. Oh, nice. This is Justin Jefferson, 2020, Donner's Optic. Again, like I said, I love the look of Optic. Uh, I kind of wish they sold for more than Prism, to be honest. This is the hollow. Actually, maybe they do now. <laughs> um, it's kind of the silver version. Um, they got Gem 10. It was perfect. I actually bought this on eBay for like 30 bucks, so pretty good investment. And I'm impressed I got a gem mint card from eBay. Happy with that one. That might be my favorite card so far of the order. Here's another nice one. 2020 Panini Prism, Jalen Hurts. This is a Disco Prism. Uh, hopefully have a pretty good uh, run in this playoffs, and this card should rise. It's got gem 10. Here's a Justin Fields. This is the Purple Shock. Uh, this one, honestly, my pre grade was a 9 or a 10. Uh, a lot, these are very common to have a lot of factory lines. I don't know. I think this one had a very, very light one, faint one across the bottom right there. So it could have been a 9. So I'm happy this one got a 10. Oh, yeah. So this was probably one of the nicest cards in the order. I was scared of an upcharge. Um, and I totally would have understood, but it, it got a nine, so that's why it didn't get an upcharge. This is the Larry Bird from Revolution, the Asia version, 2021 autograph. I love this look of this card. Almost like a color match. Um, my pre grade actually was a 10. I thought it would get one. I think probably the back corners would get people, but it looked pretty good. Maybe the slightest touch of white. Uh, dang, I was really hoping for a 10 on this one. Front corners, perfect. Edges, everything. This is definitely a BGS 9.5 with a 10 auto. Definitely. So, but still, a PSA 9 probably sells for the same as that. So, I, I, you know, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with this card. Because it's nicer than a 9. But it, it does look good in this PSA slab. So, we'll see on that one whether I want to sell it. Ooh. Dang, I didn't want to create an 8 stack. <laughs> um, this is a second year Curry from Panini Prestige. There's not a lot of second year curries out there, you know, because Panini was still kind of getting their feet wet after they took over from um, Tops in 2009. So between 2009 and 2011, 12, they didn't make a lot of product. Um, so his second year cards, you'd be surprised they sell pretty well. But back to this grade, what? Look at this pre grade was a 10. It's so nice. There's no flaws. You see the surface? Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. The back corner is usually where it gets you. But no, look at that corner. It's nice and sharp. All these are nice and sharp. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that's just on the case. I disagree with this grade. This is a big nope. I would say at least a nine on that. Uh, that's probably, I won't sell. I'll just crack out eventually over time. Oh, no. You know, I was really excited for this card. I know it's just kind of a common Kobe rookie, but I found this out in the wild raw. And 
I love it when you see a nice condition sensitive card from the 90s still out there, raw in raw form, you know, because you think of all the people who graded so many cards during the pandemic. And this one made it through, and I found it, and it was incredible. I thought this was going to be a gem 10. I really did. Look, no chipping, no corner problem, and look at the back. So nice. What? I completely disagree with this grade, for sure. I don't know what's going on. What they saw, at least a 9. Um, so like I said, when I, when I get <laughs> cards with grades they shouldn't have, I will keep them and crack them down the road. Um, such a good looking card. I'm surprised. I don't know. Maybe there's some, you know, potential pop control going on with some of the goats, you know, Kobe, LeBron, Jordans. I, I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they sat around and, you know, greater meeting and just said, hey, Let's just be tight on the goats for a little bit. <laughs> the uh, pop reports are swelling. I mean, who knows? Comment below if you think that's a potential. If you think maybe that is happening. Who knows? Here's a Leighton Vander Esch. He's having a good year for the Cowboys. This is his rookie from 2018 Phoenix. The yellow version numbered out of 75. So just a good looking card. Gem 10. What? No way. There's no way. This was a pretty good of a 10, and it got a 7. I mean, I shouldn't have graded it. It's just in fields, but I like the look of it. And probably when I submitted it, he was on a little, little heater, a little stretch where he was running crazy. Remember that? All those rushing yards. Uh, no, it's... Do you guys, you guys see anything? nothing no <laughs> no way i would love to submit this to beckett or uh, sgc i think it's a nine five or ten for both those companies i don't know I, I don't see it i don't see it at all dang you have to create a seven stack all right let's forget about that i don't want to think about that one um here's a 2015 again good luck with the 15s this is a nick Foles red refractor Numbered out of 25, I believe. And he got gem 10. I'm a Foles fan. After that Super Bowl win, it was unbelievable. At the highest level, the biggest game, he performed his best game ever. I mean, that's you have to respect that. That was unbelievable. Uh, here's Justin Fields. Dang, I need to stop submitting Justin Fields. What am I doing here? This is a Airborne Red Plaid from Rookies and Stars. Got a 9. I figured it was a 10, or else I wouldn't have graded it, but that's okay. It's better than a 7, at least they didn't give me a 7. Here's a 2016 Panini Prism Derek Henry. Pretty good was a 9 on this, so accurate grade here. It's just very common in this year Prism to have some surface scratches. You can kind of see just a few light ones, just enough to bring it down to a 9, which I get. So accurate grade here. He'll be a future Hall of Famer. Oh, I'm bummed about this one. Uh, Pre-grid was a 10. I just love the way it looked. Earl de Pearl Monroe on card autograph from the late 90s. Just a great looking card. And I didn't see any flaws to it, really. This one shouldn't have got a 9 either. That's a bummer. I got this at a local card shop for, man, it might have been even under $10. So I'm not into it that much, but still, I wanted the 10 on that one just, just to have. Oh, well. Ooh. This is another card I was actually pretty excited about. I know it's Al Harrington, but it's condition sensitive from the 90s. Number out of 500 from Flair Showcase. Uh, didn't have a lot of flaws. No chipping, no corner wear. Look at that. Oh, it's nice. Such a nice card. It's at least a mint 9. Pre-grade was a 10. Alright, Grader's getting a little tight on that one. Let's keep rolling. Dante Fowler Jr. I think he's on the Cowboys now. He had a pretty decent year. Uh, I just like this card because it is the Gold Refractor numbered out of 10 autograph. You know, he's still in the league, which is a good sign. Got a gem 10. Very happy with this one. 
I think I got it on eBay for like 15, 20 bucks. So not into it too much. It's a good investment. Ooh, I was really hoping for a 10 on this one. This is one of the bigger cards in the order. And uh, I think I bought it raw for around 35 bucks about a month ago. Um, you can't say this about much, but his, his stock, his stuff has been selling well. It actually has gone up. So yeah, you can't say that a lot about a lot of players right now. Number out of 10, this is the gold version. And it looked great. Pretty good was a hopeful 10. It had maybe a touch of white on one of the corners. Just a touch. Just a touch. That was it, though. Trust me. That was it. So, man. SGC or Beckett would be 9.5 for sure. But it's PSA 9. Good looking card. Here's an Evan Mobley. Just his base. I Again, I probably shouldn't have graded this one. I think I pulled it in a blaster box I got at Target. And I was like, oh, cool. Nice looking Mobley. I think it would get a 10. But I shouldn't have graded it. You know, when you open some wax and you pull some decent looking cards and you really want to maximize the value out of the box and the wax you open, that you so you want to grade the cards that you pull, but don't do that necessarily you know a lot of times they're not worth grading it's just you being kind of biased because you opened the product so i shouldn't have graded this that was my fault there out of nine here's a dwight howard rookie from 2004 sp authentic sp signatures on card auto i like the look of it uh i'm okay with a nine here pretty good was a nine the card itself looked like a 10 um but as you can see his, his autograph it's kind of faded. See that? I don't like the look of that. So I don't know if, if the autograph plays a factor in the grade through PSA, but if I were the grader, it would play a factor. I don't like the eye appeal. I wouldn't put a 10 on this because of the autograph. But I got a 9. Future Hall of Famer, I think. Or close. He's a close one. Here's a good-looking Bryce Harper, the Red Hot Foil from 2014 Tops. Nice sparkle shine too. I like the look of these cards. Uh, this was a good buy on Comp C. I think I bought it for like four bucks and it came clean. Very clean. Gem 10. So I'm looking pretty good. Maybe just around 48%. 1996 Select Isaac Bruce Artist Proof. Uh, these ones are hard to find in good condition and it was just really nice looking. I was a fan of the... Uh, Greatest show on turf, you know, Warner and Bruce and Holt and all those guys. Um, but got a 9. Pretty good was a 10. Not sure what they saw. A little disappointed there. <clears throat> Here's a Tua. Kind of a roller coaster year for Tua. Started off hot, but poor guy. All the concussion. I feel for him. Um, this one got a silver. This is a silver prism. Got a 9. This is rookie. Pretty good was a 10, but now I can kind of see it's a little thinner on the right. You see that? So I get it. Oh, good. Here's a good-looking card. Joe Thomas. He'll be a future Hall of Famer soon. I think this year he'll get inducted. This car should rise. This is 2021 Prism Sensational Signatures. Got gem 10. Numbered at 149. Here's a Jalen Hurts. Just his kind of base rookie prism um this one was a pre-grade of a nine actually but i still wanted to grade it i just thought it was slightly off center you see that on the right it's a little thinner than the left but it must have been within the 40 percent and everything else looked good so gem 10 happy with that Ooh, another card on my top 25 percent of drops <laughs> Uh, but luckily, I bought this one after the fact, after the boom. So, got it pretty cheap. It looked good, as you can see by the gaps on the left. Centered up, but it had one, a couple little surface lines marked right there. Kind of see it. See them? That knocked it to a 9. I get it. Per grid was a 9 with a hopeful 10, just depending on whether the grader really thought those affected it. <clears throat> Here's the 2015 Finest, Brandon Scherf, numbered out of 25, Pink Refractor. Um, 
there are some Brandon Scherf fans out there. You know, he's had five or six Pro Bowls, and I've been grading some of his top term rookies, and they've been selling on eBay. So thanks for all the people that have been purchasing him. Um, you know, he's had a good career, so you never know. Future Hall of Famer, maybe. Uh, Pre-grade was a hopeful 10, but I thought they would give it a 9, and they did. They had a few light surface marks. Very light. It could have been a 10. Could have gone either way. So this was probably my favorite card of the order. Um, I bought it from kind of a, a collector buddy down in Salem. And uh, he had it in this just kind of beat up regular case. And I was like, man, I want to see that card. And I pulled it out and it looked gem mint. And if anyone knows about these 1997 Metal Universe, they're so condition sensitive. Um, chipping all over the place. This one had just a light chipping on the top and some light chipping on the bottom but everything else perfect so pre was a nine on this and i got a nine very happy cool looking card this is the marvel metal got wolverine in the back barry sanders nine happy with that one almost done 2016 panini classics eli manning tom brady fun to have these two on the same card because eli manning beat tom brady in two super bowls i don't think any player can say that that's crazy Got Tom Brady's number, that Eli. Gem 10. Nothing wrong with that card. Pretty good was a 10. Ah, oh, this is one I'm, I'm a little bummed about this. I love the look of this card, the design. Look at it. Um, it had, see that? A little line there, so I get it. Actually, that's probably accurate. It was a hopeful 10, but I can kind of see that line right there. Got a mint 9, light it up, hollow from Optic Steph Curry. Here's a Jalen Hurts from 2020 Panini Mosaic. It's his rookie. Just a good looking card. These ones are pretty fairly easy to grade. Gem 10. Here is a Anthony Edwards from 2020 Optic, his rookie. This is a purple shock. These ones are notorious, kind of like the fields. They always have kind of a refractor line. Um, which this one had a very light one, so I get it. Period was a 9 on this. But at 15 bucks, I thought it was worth it. He has had a pretty good career already. Mint 9. Here is a 2021 Prism flashback. So kind of the 2012 Prism style. Uh, pretty good was a 10 on this Carl Anthony Towns autograph. I'm not sure what they saw. It looked good. It looked real good. Mm, maybe some centering issues. As you can see, almost looks like a... A cross cut here right a tilt cut see look at that see how the left side's thicker than this right i see that's why it's always important to look at your cards thoroughly i should have looked at this one a little better so i get it i guess that is a mint nine mint nine uh he's just steph curry he's a great looking card i pulled this one myself too and then this is a little target blaster i was happy about this it, it looked great Gem 10 all the way, pretty great. So, the silver, Steph Curry. Uh, he's a Clay Thompson, rookie from uh, Hoops 2012. Good to see him get his shot back and confidence up. Uh, pretty good was a 10 on these. These are hard because of the corner, a lot of corner wear. They're very common, especially on the back. But this looked great. This is probably one of the nicer 2012 hoops you're going to see. I'm not sure why they gave it a 9. This one's undergraded for sure. Uh, oh, man, I've been stacking wrong. No, maybe just that one. Okay. So nines are creeping up. Here's a Franz Wagner. Another card I pulled. Probably shouldn't have graded, but it was perfect looking. And he's having a pretty good year. This is the silver version, at least. Franz Wagner, PSA 10. Oh, uh, we got LeBron James. This is another one of the better cards in this order i was scared of the upcharge um it looked great this is numbered out of 100 it's this gold facsimile kind of parallel it's it's a great looking rookie card it had a touch of white top left everything else looked pretty good you know i'm not sure what they saw um i don't think this is an eight either i'll go ahead and crack this one over time I think it's a 9. I think Beckett or SGC will give it a 9. Or PSA at another day would give this a 9. I wonder if I would have submitted this at a higher tier. 
um, if they would have given it a higher grade, you know, because I only had 199 declared value on it, 15 bucks, yeah, I don't know, that's interesting to think about, we got an 8, so disappointed with that one, but we're going to end, last card, on a Tyler Lockett, Contenders Auto Playoff Ticket, number 99, it's a good looking card, pretty good was a 10, it's centered up, you know, he's had a good career, even with Gino throwing to him this year. I don't know. Undergraded on that one, too. Uh, let's see. Uh, we're looking at probably, my guess, around a 41%, 42% gem rate. Um, a mixed mixed feelings about this order. Some good, some good and bad. I would say the grader was pretty tight, but fairly accurate, uh, except for... <laughs> except for these cards honestly uh, but i hope you enjoyed this reveal i should have a few more reveals soon and uh thank you everyone for watching